back with another video and today I'm actually going to be doing the second part of this little series that I have but this is the best of 2013 and this is for the higher end products that I'm actually going to be showing you guys so let's go ahead and excuse me get started so the first thing I have is the Mali perfect prep under under eye the Mali perfect prep primer and I don't use primer every single day I do tend to use it sometimes not every single day but I really do like this primer it's a nice consistency has this a very faint smell but I do like using this when I do use it um, I tend to use this mostly during the summertime or when my skin is really really dry and I want to lock in my moisture I will put this on and then I will also um so I put my moisturizer on and then I put this on top of it just to kind of lock it in. And I do the same thing at night so it also helps as a night cream as well. The next thing that I have is for eye primer. I've actually been looking into the Urban Decay and this one I want to say is the matte one that this they have. the matte formula one and this is one that I've actually been loving. Um, it does really work really nicely with me because I have really oily eyelids. So if you're someone that has oily eyelids I would definitely tell you guys to give this one a try. Mine is in this little pot because I actually got it with the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Um, so that's the reason why but this is a really great product and I would definitely recommend it. For foundation, I have been loving the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation, and I kind of got this one at the end of the year, but I went ahead and I chose this one because it was going to be the MAC Moisture Foundation, um, but the reason why I didn't choose that one is because I have to get that in two different shades, and that can be really expensive. I think I ended up paying like a lot for that, but... Um, Yes, but so I just went ahead and went with this one because this one seemed to fit me the best um, when it came to higher end foundations. The other ones I have are also MAC, but this is the one I like the best, and this is the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. I'm in the color 82 Cocoa Light, but I really love this foundation. It's really nice. It does have a faint smell. I think I might have done, I didn't do a review, but I kind of did like a demo or whatever on it. I'll link that video down below if I can find it in the feed. But um, this is the, definitely the foundation that I have been loving. For concealer, I would have to go with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is an NC42. I love this stuff. It's like paint once you set it and forget it. It doesn't move. It's absolutely amazing. I still set it with a little bit of a powder because I have really oily under eyes as well. But I do go ahead and set it with a powder. And speaking of that powder, the one that I have been loving to set that with is the Diffuse Light. It's an ambient powder by Hourglass that looks like this. This is the yellow toned one. But I absolutely love it. This has actually replaced my Ben Benai Banana Powder. And I absolutely love it. For all over facial powder, I have also been using another um, Hourglass powder. And I've been loving the one in Dim Light, um, which is this one over here to actually um, set my entire face with. If I want more of a bronzy kind of look, I tend to use this one. And I use this one here in the middle. This one would be for my highlight because it's really pretty. Okay, also for setting powders throughout the day, um, I like to go back sometimes and blot my face or something like that. So normally what I tend to use is this one. This is the Mali Ever Color Poreless Face Defender. And this basically is almost like a powder, but it's not a powder. But it does set your makeup. You can use this. It's absolutely wonderful. Feels like nothing you've ever felt before. Nice, clear. It kind of feels like a powder when you rub it but it's not you do not see this it does not show up on film or HD photography this is absolutely amazing you take a big sponge and you just blot it in those areas where you tend to get oily such a lifesaver and I love using this during the summer I will not leave my house in the summer unless I have my face defender she's not gonna go to sleep okay um for setting spray I have been loving two setting sprays um, one of them y'all claim is not a setting spray. I don't know. I tend to use it as a setting spray because I found out that that one just gives me a completely different look and I also feel it's a very natural look. So the first one I have is my Urban Decay. This is my Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I love this. This does a wonderful job. However, I don't think it does as good as job as my MAC Fix Plus, which I happen to love and use. And you guys know this is my second bottle. I haven't been using as much of the MAC 
Fix Plus this time around because I've tried to been using some of my other setting sprays that I have. Hence the need why I have been using this one trying to get rid of that. Um, I do want to try the new one that they have. I think it's like the B6 or the B3 by Urban Decay. I do want to try that setting spray and kind of see how that one's going to work. And you see she's sick. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, you sick? Tell him hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay, so that's my sick baby. Today, guys, is hair day. And, yeah, she's sick. And I don't like anybody messing with my hair when I'm sick, so I don't mess with her hair when she's sick. So, yeah. Okay, so for my favorite bronzer, I have been using the Lorac. And this is the Tantalizer. Um, bronzer and highlight kind of thing but this bronzer over here guys amazing very very pretty not a muddy kind of look it's just beautiful and it blends so well on the skin you probably can't even see it um, but it's absolutely beautiful definitely recommend picking this up the highlight I'm not much of a fan of um, I, I do find it's kind of chalky looking and I'm just not a fan of the highlight, which is right here. Not a fan. But I do happen to love the bronzer. My favorite highlight would be the Mary Luminizer throughout the year, I think. This one, I come back to time and time again. It's one of those ones that you either like it or you don't. But it does leave a really, really pretty, pretty highlight. So, definitely have been loving this for 2013. And you can pick up the Mary Luminizer on Hot Look, and I have that link Hulk down look. below. Yeah, Hot Look. That's oh. good. Yes, that's good. And then also, my favorite blush has been this Rihanna. This is the Bad Girl Gone Good. To me, I think this blush would be a lot like Melba, because it's more of a brown tint to it. <coughs> so, really, really loving this blush. She looks awful in the camera. She's so sick. My baby's sick. My baby's sick. Yeah, my baby's sick. You sick. So, this is um, Bad Girl Gone Good Bad blush. Girl. And then my favorite Bad lipstick girl. has also been by this collection as well. Love nude lipsticks. And this one, guys, did not disappoint by any means. It sold out. That whole collection was just crazy. And I didn't even jump in on the holiday collection. It's kind of a taupey nude. I didn't even jump in on the holiday collection um, by her. I was absolutely done at that point. Because I got everything pretty much I wanted. Except for the lip glass. I didn't get the brushes. I'm not into MAC brushes as of yet. And they're expensive. So I just use Sigma. Link down below. <laughs> Getting in all these plugs. But um, yeah. So... I didn't get in there for brushes or anything, but I was just not going to do the whole Christmas collection thing. I was not going to put myself through it. Um, anyway, sticking with this video, um, my favorite mascara has actually became the They're Real by Benefit. And I hated this in the beginning. Like, I was like, what are they talking about? What do they mean to get you volume? I really don't see what it's doing. Um, I have been loving this here lately. I've been using this. I have it on today. Um, the more coats you add, the better it just looks. So, I have definitely been in love with Baby the Sue. Benefit The Real Mascara. Favorite eyeliners have definitely would have to go to Mally Cosmetics. You can get Mally products. If I didn't mention the Face Defender thing that I talked about, which is in that big pink compact, you can actually get that now at Ulta. Mally does sell her products at Ulta, and you can also get it at QVC. Um, but these eyeliners are absolutely amazing again you can get these at Ulta or QVC but um what are these the the Avercolor Ultimate um waterproof eyeliners and they are bomb skis guys you will definitely love these and last but not least my favorite eyeshadows for 2013 dun, 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 dun. you guys already know what palette this is Lorac Pro Palette. Absolutely love these shadows. These shadows, I think, are amazing. I'm not even sure when this palette came out, guys. But this was one of the palettes that I went back to in 2013. You guys actually seen it, I believe, in my um, makeup drawer. The products that I tend to use every day. 
Bombskis. <laughs> That's my new word for this year. Bombskis. <laughs> but this palette is absolutely amazing. Love the colors. Um, you have your satins down here and your shimmers. And then here up at the top you have all of your mattes. So many different looks you can do with this palette. Absolutely beautiful on camera and in person. You can't go wrong with this, guys. Absolutely amazing. So there you guys have it. Those are my favorite products of 2013 high-end products. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I have some more videos coming up for you guys. My vanity is complete. So definitely be looking for a vanity tour. My sister gave me the finishing piece um, for Christmas. And I didn't even know it. So, um, yeah, the vanity tour is going to be coming up here really soon. And I'm so excited for that. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I'll see you in the next one.